Hey, hello friends. My name is Sagar Joshi. Today I am going to discuss something about site code, site code related topics. So the first topic we're going to discuss is about databases. There are total three different types of databases in site code. The first one is code. Next is master. And the third one is web. So let's see what is code. If you want to change some site code settings or do some configurations, or uh, you can also do some customizations, you can take uh, this help of a core database. Site code settings, configurations, or any customizations. Let's see what is master. If you uh, edit or modify some content, it gets stored in the inside the master database. If edited some content, it gets stored inside the master database now let's see what is web if you edit some content it's been stored in the master beta database then it gets pushed into the web database which in the end gets published on the live environment it's basically the final stage where all the contents are published on the live environment so from the master it gets pushed to the web database we can say it is published and it is made live so this is all about databases now let's see what is the user management in Sitego. why user management is important if you want to log into Sitecore then you must be having a user of your own a user should be created in Sitecore so I can't show you practically like log into the system and how to create users on the PC but for information's sake I'll just draw it down over here so everyone must have seen the login page of Sitecore so there's a login button And there's some options like desktop, content editor, page editor. There's a desktop option over here on the login page itself. You have to click on that. Then a page opens up. At the bottom of the page, there's a label called a side code. You have to click on that. Then there are a few other options. Click on the security option. And after that, you need to click on user manager. So when you click on user manager, a page opens up. Like over here, you can create users. There's a new button out here. There's a search box. If you have already created some users, then it will be seen over here. Like user one, user two, user three. If you want to create some new users, you just click on new, write down the username and just click save. The new user will be created. But unless and until you don't give rights to this particular user, you won't be able to log into Sitecore. Okay. So there are two ways where you can uh, give the user access rights. So the first thing is that either you create roles and then assign these roles to that particular user assign role to a user whenever you assign this role to a user so whatever access rights this role has it will be reflected inside this user and user will get access so this is about given access to a role, role specific. 
there's another way where we can give access to this user. We can give the, the access to the user at user level. Like we can directly go to the access viewer of that user and directly change the rights. Whatever rights you can give like uh, read, write and so on. So we are giving the access rights to this user at user level. So there are two ways, right? We can create roles and then assign to the user or we can directly give access to that particular user. So this is all about user management. Thanks for watching this video.